Hello, my name is John Barbo and I'm an embedded systems developer and medical device development consultant at my company, Broadwell Consulting Incorporated. Uh, if you need help with those things, uh, give me a call. And I'm also the creator of the Serial Wombat open source project. Uh, the Serial Wombat 18AB has recently been launched after a successful Kickstarter campaign and all of the Kickstarter rewards have been shipped. Those uh, chips shipped with firmware versions 2.05 for the early birds and 2.06 which fixed a problem with the cap touch for the uh, June deliveries and July deliveries. Uh, since then I've released version 2.07 which fixes additional bugs and adds a couple of additional commands for copying cues and some other things to support some functionality I'm doing with the Serial Wombat panel as well as uh, some corrections to some functionality that hasn't been uh, formally introduced yet. So in order to get these bug fixes and functionality, you need to be able to update to the latest firmware. Uh, I did a video already on how to do that through Arduino. You can see that up above my head uh, now. Click on that if you want to do it that way. But by far the easiest way is to use the Wombat Panel application that we previewed in the previous video on uh, using C Sharp with the Serial Wombat project. So in order to get the Wombat panel application, uh, you will want to get uh, either the source code for it and build it under Visual Studio for Windows. Uh, you can do that by going to GitHub, Broadwell Consulting Inc. and go to Repositories. Then go to Serial Wombat C Sharp Lib, and that's what you want to download. And all of the solutions, the C Sharp code, uh, all that are in here. Now, some people may not want to download and compile it under Visual Studio to run it. So I've created a folder in there, Wombat Panel Releases, uh, that will have each of the kind of formal releases that I have. It's not that formal, but uh, ones that typically show up in videos. And... So you'll see here's a zip file. If you click on that, uh, it says, oh, you can't uh, show files that are that big, but we can do a download. And it's not commonly downloaded and it may be dangerous. Well, it's mine. I know it's okay. And uh, so we will say keep. And then we will take that file and we will open it. So if we go here, let's open that in Windows Explorer. And you'll see there's the folder Windows Panel Executable. We'll copy that and paste it. Don't try to run it. Don't try to install it out of the zip file. That almost never works. OK, so now we've got Wombat Panel Executable. So we come in here, and this is just the result of a Visual Studio Publish. And so all of the EXEs are in here. You can double click setup if you want to install it as an application on your PC, or you can just run it right out of this folder. Uh, if you haven't run a .NET 6 application before, then it will prompt you to download and install the .NET framework. Uh, it doesn't take long, uh, but you'll need that in order to run this executable. So let's double click it. And note that we're, we're clicking the Wombat Panel Windows Forms.exe, not the Serial Wombat Forms Library.exe, which doesn't really do anything interesting. Uh, so we come in here, and now we are ready to potentially download something. So we connect up over Serial. Let's take a look real quick at how we are going to make that connection. The Serial Wombat chip here uh, has you know, all of the pins shown, you may have already uh, soldered this together, you may have it on a breadboard. But what's important is this address pin. Uh, and if you look, this is the board that we'll be uploading the firmware on. And this is ac the actual one that I used for my Amazon pictures. I took this with my wife's uh, wonderful Olympus uh, multi-stacking focus uh, macro camera. So thank you to her for lending me that. But we'll, it is uh, configured with a uh, no address resistor, which means that by default, this thing is gonna start up uh, looking for I squared C, and we don't want that. We want uh, 
serial. And so what we're going to do before power up, right here there's a jumper you can install that will let you uh, short the address pin to ground. And in that case, uh, you'll get serial at power up. So we're just going to stick a uh, we're just going to stick a, a, a Dupont jumper in here to short that, and then we'll be hooking up to the TX and RX lines, uh, which are pin seven and nine. RX goes into the serial wombat, pin seven comes out. And in this case, uh, to do that, I'm just going to I have a around my lab, I've got a bunch of these ESP8266 uh, adapters that, ooh, they're programming adapters. Well, they are, they are. And th what they basically do is they connect up uh, a uh, Scilabs uh, USB to serial converter. And then there's a nice 3.3 volt regulator on there that takes the five volts from USB and makes it available at 3.3 on one of these pins. So if you take a look at this picture here, you will see that we've run four wires from the adapter. We've got one that goes to ground, one that goes to 3.3, and the other two go to the uh, the other two pins go to the transmit and receive. And here you you can see that I've jumpered shut the address to ground. So at that point now we are ready to connect up. So let's do that. I'm going to go to port open serial and that particular adapter is on COM18. And it's doing all of its resyncing and checking things and oh, it did a download and we get a message that says the serial Wombat chip is using firmware version 2.06. Version 2.07 or later is required for all features to work correctly. So, and then it shows you a video a different video than this one. I'll have to update that software to uh, to see how to update your firmware. So we can do that under Tools, Download New Hex File. And so, and these are actually on my hard drive. That's not where you would get them. Uh, let's take a look on GitHub at where to get the release files. So if we go to uh, Broadwell Consulting Incorporated Repositories, and Serial Wombat. Under Serial Wombat 18AB, there's a, a folder called Releases, and we want the, the 207. So we can click on that. Don't right-click and save as. You don't want to do that, because then you'll actually get this whole HTML file. And so GitHub being helpful, you know, GitHub really isn't meant to be an FTP site. It's a source code management site, a versioning site. So it shows us the whole hex file. That's not what you want. So we're going to click raw. And then it just shows us the file as it is. And we'll say save as. And we will get rid, we will save it as all files. Get rid of the text so it's just a hex file. And say save. And so now, if we look here, we have the 18AB207 hex file. So we will go to where that's at, select that file, and it starts downloading. Uh, it's erasing all of the, the bytes first, all the blocks first, and now it's doing programming. Programming of the PIC chip is pretty slow uh, because of the way that the, the flash pages are aligned. It's not really meant for this kind of data storage. It's a real-time control chip. So we just have to be patient. Uh, I'm going to accelerate this real quick to get through to the end. Okay, and so the programming completed. And now the uh, microchip PIC Serial Wombat firmware is going to calculate a CRC of the entire application area and compare that against a CRC that's stored in the hex file that was downloaded. And we take a look at it, and it said the calculated CRC was 48,729. The expected CRC was 48,729. So that was a good download. So we can be happy with that. So now let's close that port. 
and reopen it, which will make the Wombat panel uh, requery for version information. And no warning that time. And it has version 2.07. So at this point, we are ready to uh, use all of the various Serial Wombat panel functions. And uh, we have the latest firmware. If you have any questions about this process, leave them in the comments below. Uh, expect to see periodic new versions of the Serial Wombat firmware uh, as I add new features and new versions of the Serial Wombat panel as I make improvements there as well. So as always, these chips are available on Amazon, so stop by and buy one or two if you like. And uh, I hope you guys have fun and keep making stuff. The Serial Wombat firmware is available on GitHub and is constantly being updated. Subscribe below so that you can see the latest features and videos that come out as we fix bugs and add new features. The Serial Wombat open source project was created by Broadwell Consulting Incorporated. Broadwell Consulting Incorporated provides help developing medical devices with a focus on developing embedded firmware, which is compliant with IEC 62304, ISO 14971, and ISO 13485, as well as remediation assistance for products already in production. For more information, contact John at Broadwell Consulting. Support requests for Serial Wombat should be sent to help at serialwombat.com and will be answered on an as-available basis. Also, feel free to leave your question in the comments below.